Okay, there are several things that I would like to do in schools, but for whatever reason, I'm not managing it. I did try. I went back to this, um, I came back to school, and it's the last term for me at this school, because really, it's just been terrible. Not terrible isn't really bad, just not good. <laughs> just not that good. I mean, I've had some interesting times, some fun times, but I haven't really connected with that many kids, and I haven't really taught them very much about virtually anything, about interacting with each other, interacting with me, interacting with the world, uh, understanding a bit of maths. I don't really feel as if much of it's actually made any sense whatsoever. And although that might actually be kind of like okay for most people in their jobs, quite frankly, I think it's shocking. And that's why I think it's terrible. So, um, normally, I do this stuff in school with people. But what I'm choosing to do, I'm 38. I'm going to fictionalize it. Well, kind of. What I'm going to do is I'm going to record it and then might invite some of the kids to have a look at it. And if they're interested, well then, it's not really fictional because I'm addressing them. But what I'll do is I'll collect them at some stage or other and perhaps put them into some kind of like little book thing or a film script. Because it's describing various qualities of characters and various scenarios that might happen that could be very entertaining for people. Hey, I don't have to do this for school either. I can do this as social art. Like, for example, the, ch the chap who sold Wagamama. We went into his restaurant in London and we thought about uh, improving it, me and Sophia. And I thought of two ways and Sophia thought of another couple of ways. And we thought, why don't we just approach him and say, we've got these ideas. And if you just try them out, and if they're useful, then, well, you'll see. You'll see if they're useful, and they see if people actually interact with it. It's kind of like more enjoyable for the, I don't know, the experience of visiting the restaurant. And it'll be very obvious to see it. Um, there's like quantifiable ways that waiters can check. <laughs> it's not like, hmm, are they enjoying themselves more? Do we have to, like, question them? No, it's just kind of obvious in what it is that they do and their behavior. And then we get paid. We get paid a little bit of money because it's such a good idea and it's improved the quality of life of people um, at the restaurant. That's how social art works. Um, it pays on results. Uh, honor, respect, trust. We trust you. Here's our idea for free. You try it out. If it works, well, you know, share the benefit. Yeah. So, um, and then there's this other idea regarding uh, Russell Brand. Russell Brand, what about this other idea? I saw, okay, right, that's, that's quite cool. Okay, I'm gonna do that now, right, <laughs> because why not? Sounds like fun. So, um, and then there was another idea, and listen to this, this one's really good, and this one's for free. This is, this is the quality, all right? This is last year, with a bunch of social entrepreneurs, they call themselves, okay? And, you know, I'm encouraging them, let's go out into the streets of London, just wander about, go into pubs, go into bars, go into, the, I don't know, anywhere, all right? And just be active and think about how to improve whatever the hell it is that we're experiencing. It's not difficult. Um, and I thought, you know, I only thought this because, well, I tried it, all right? I came up with something which I thought was quite good. And I thought, well, I'll tell them this idea. And I thought, well, maybe I like it. And then, oh, that sounds good. I want to come up with a good quality idea. But sadly, people's appreciation of ideas is not as good as it should be. But if we had a group of people doing this, mmm, a group of people going, mmm, these are good ideas, let's try, I think we can make a reasonable amount of money. And we can actually improve the quality of life of people around us, which was more important. Uh -huh. Are you a social entrepreneur, entrepreneur or are you a social artist? Uh -huh. So, this is the quality of it, right? Okay, I was walking down the street in London and I saw the... Was it, was it an ambulance? I think it was an ambulance. I don't think it was the police. I think it was an ambulance. Was it an ambulance? And, you know, it was driving past. And I suddenly realized, God, must be hell getting through London. Absolute hell. Because there are bloody gridlocks everywhere. And what normally, what drivers do, and this is what I saw, is the drivers slow down. So they're in the road, all right, and they hear this kind of thing, and they look behind, you know, in the mirrors and stuff, oh, okay, right, okay, so they start slowing down. So they start slowing, because I think we're told to do that, aren't we? We're told to slow down, and then to move to the side, perhaps, okay? But the trouble is, because you slow down, well, you kind of stop, don't you? And you kind of stop where you are. And I've seen this happen other times, you know, people stopping, like, at junctions. So there's, like, you know, there's... <laughs> they can hear, oh, look, they can hear the sirens going, and I'm like, what the hell is that? So they slow down to a stop, okay, in a junction. So <laughs> whatever direction the ambulance is coming in, it's just, anyway, okay, so that's a bit crazy, isn't it? So, 
So what they have to do is they have to get out of the way. But I think we're told incorrectly. And I think this, and we have to check this. I haven't even bothered checking this, but somebody should check this, all right? When we're actually uh, told this, like when you're learning to drive cars, you know, various things, what do you do? Well, you slow down and you move to the side. And we are definitely told to like get out of the way of trying to clear an avenue for the emergency vehicles to get through. But I think we're told to slow down and move to the side. Is that true? I have to verify that. Because that's what people are doing. And I just like, so one thing we could do, if we find out that's what they're saying, well, let's change that. Surely what we want to do is effectively people have to check and move to the side. Just move to the side. That's what they want to do. They go into the, the bus lanes or whatever. You know, they don't do it automatically. They go, oh, is it safe? And they move to the side and then they slow down and stop. If they need to stop. So the, the, the first thing is move on and get out of the way. If you're on a junction, you move on and get out of the junction. Isn't that obvious? And you move to the side before you get and stop before you get to the junction. And if you can't do that, you move on to get beyond the junction and get out. That's what you do. Isn't that obvious? I think it is. And if you think, wait, wait, it's a bit confusing. If I move to the side now, if I go forward through this junction, I'm right, right kind of like just at the beginning of it. Oh, Christ, I don't really know. I'll go forwards. Oh, no, it's blocked. But if they're all moving forwards into the side, at some stage, there's going to be an opening and you just keep on going. If there's no room to park to the side, you just keep on going down this way. And it looks like you're overtaking, but you're not. You're just looking for a space to get to the side so that you can clear it away. Do you see? And so if you're doing this and you're packing to the side and somebody drives past you, you don't have to sit there going, oh, well, they're trying to take advantage, they're being horrible. No, you're just going, they're obviously looking for a space to look to the side, to stop, so that they can clear a channel for the emergency services. Do you see? If we think positively about these things, all is good. Yes. Hmm. And I thought, right, what happens if like uh, a bunch of social artists uh, go to the emergency services and suggest this, all right? This is what we'd like to do. We'd like to do this in London, okay? We'd like to hit London, and in one week's time, all right? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna conduct a little survey, somehow or other, we're gonna conduct a little survey, and it'll take about a week, all right? Uh, we're going to prepare the survey in that first week, and we're going to go around, and we're going to like, ask uh, ambulancemen, policemen, blah, 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 blah. We're gonna ask members of the public, blah, 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 and just get this current state of affairs. All right, the current state of affairs. We're trying to statistically, through subjective experience, the state of affairs as to how many times people stop, block, blah, 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 blah. So we get an idea of the picture now, okay? Yeah, and we also get footage and stuff. And we get whatever, right, in a week, okay? The next week, or no, let's say the next two, two weeks, maybe three, two weeks, okay? Yeah, let's just go for two weeks. What we do is we ask the media and we ask them, we ask them, we say, we'd like to solve this problem socially, okay, for the whole of London. So if you've got a radio program, okay, could you please, you know, like an advert, okay, and in that advert, all right, give it this free time. So usually you kind of like want money for that, and it's, you know, if it's an advert, but just give it to us free, all right, and we're going to advertise in 30 seconds. We're going to tell people, all right, can you please do this? You go to the side and uh, then uh, slow down. Okay, that's all we're trying to do here. A little social experiment. That's what we're trying to do here in order to actually solve a major problem, which came to, you know, it's causing lots of hassle for police and for ambulance men and so on and so forth. We're trying to resolve that. And we should be able to see the effect in two weeks. That's all we're asking for. We're asking for a few adverts, as many as we can get, and we might might even get like, newspapers very generously printing a huge kind of like, yeah, wouldn't that be cool? Um, and then we might even get on television, and we might even get the news. Now, wouldn't that be news? Wouldn't that be news? If on the news they said, right, we're planning to do this thing in London, blah, 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 and it's going to take this amount of time, and you know, could you please do this? It would be really kind of cool. Right, we do all that, and then we spend a uh, last um, a week checking the results. Okay, right. Now we're going to the services and saying, right, could we please do this? All right, there's a bunch of us. I think we've got the right skills and equipment to be able to do this. Can we please do this? Give us some money, all right? Give us some money for us to be able to work on this for a month. Okay? If it works, I think we deserve a bit more. Because we're saving a lot of time and money and God knows what. We don't really want it from the services. Maybe we should get it from the public. Maybe we're asking the public, if this works, okay, would you give a pound? You know, if this works. If the police and services and emergency, and they say, thank you, public, this is amazing, all right? If they, you know, that would be the kind of like last report. Um, and people go, God, that's really nice. And we're really doing really nice things. Could we pay a pound? Because the pound effectively supports social artists and our little group and any little group that comes up with good ideas. And we can ha ha like start having a fund and we can start giving money to people who've got good ideas socially. Ah, right. Okay. <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> How exciting. Lots of love.